Hey. <laughs> Are you surprised to see me? <laughs> what, what am I doing at your house? <laughs> well, I mean, you knocked on my door. Can I not knock on yours? It's equal now. <laughs> now all's fair. <laughs> no, no. What I'm actually doing here is I'm here to pick up my sister, you know. Since I learned that somehow you two were friends. Yeah, I'm here to pick her up. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean she's not here? Huh? Well, she was around earlier. She's gone already. And what am I doing here? <laughs> Just typical, isn't it? Just typical. Typical. I mean, I'm trying to be a good brother, I'm trying to be a good guy, picking her up, helping her out, and she's not even here. Great. <laughs> what, there's no reason for me to stay? <laughs> well, I'm just standing outside your door. What's the, what's the issue with that? Well, suddenly you can't stand to be around me. And besides, I'm just like standing outside. I mean, are you not gonna, are you not gonna be polite and invite me in? Well, why would you invite me in? <laughs> I invited you into my house, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, but you're more polite than me. You're a better person than I am. Are you not going to be nice and invite me in? I mean, it's not exactly warm out here. We are in England, after all. It's not warm out here, and I'm kind of thirsty. I kind of need a drink. I just need a glass of water. So be kind and invite me in. Well, why, why are you not supposed to? Why is no one home? Where are your parents? They're out. What, no brothers or sisters? No one's home, so it's just you. <laughs> so what's the issue? Are oh, you not allowed to have anyone at home when, when you're alone at home? Really? Well, I mean, I just want a glass of water, that's all. And you'd be being neighbourly, you know. It's always good to be neighbourly. It's always good to, to help someone out when they need it. You don't want me to go thirsty, do you? I'll be good. Come on, I just want, just want a glass of water. You're not going to invite me in. What, you'll bring it to the door? No, that's, that's, that's not polite. Besides, it's cold out here. And why you got the door open? You're letting all the heat out. Just let me come in, just for a minute. I just, I just, yeah, I just want a glass of water. Just get out of the cold, you know? I mean, I've come all this way here to get my sister, obviously. She's not here, but I've come all this way. You can invite me in, can't you? Thank you. So very kind of you. Thank you. Oh, there's my water. Thank you so much. So very kind of you. I am so very parched. Mmm, <sighs> quenching. Mm. So, where is everyone? Why are you at home alone? Oh, your parents are at work. Really? What, so you're at home alone often? <laughs> yeah, you're fine with being home alone, aren't you? You seem nervous. What's wrong? What, because someone's in your house when you're alone? But I'm not just anyone, am I? You know me. <laughs> Would you still think I'm a bully? I thought we know each other a bit better now. You know, after our last two encounters, outside the classroom and the other day at my house. Was that why you're nervous? Because of how close we got? And maybe we shouldn't have gotten that close? I don't want to make you nervous. 
And yeah, I'm here. As I said, I'm here for a genuine reason to get my sister. So it's not like I've just rocked up at your house and just invited myself in and tried to push up on you. It's not like that at all. I mean, even now, we're just, we're standing in the kitchen. That's all we're doing. It's no big deal, right? But shouldn't I be getting closer to you like this? Shouldn't I? You are nervous, aren't you? I don't want you to be nervous. Yeah, let me just brush your hair back from your face. I don't want you to be nervous. I actually think you're really sweet. It's strange, actually, because after the last time we saw each other at my house, I had these really kind of weird emotions afterwards. They were like conflicting, it was really confusing because I kind of felt close to you and I couldn't stop thinking about you. But also I felt really bad because I feel like I acted like a dickhead after we <laughs> finished. Yeah, I was I was rude to you. And I don't know, I just felt really shit about it. I shouldn't have been like that to you. That was the first time you'd ever done that and you did it with me and I should have been grateful and I should have seen that for what it was, for how much of a big deal it was, your first time doing that. And I didn't give you the respect you deserved. And for that, I felt really bad. And actually, I'm really sorry. I don't know, I couldn't stop thinking about you. There's something about you, just... There's something very sweet about you. It's in the way you move and... the way you speak, and just the way you are. You're kind. And... I don't know, I suppose it's something I'm not used to. Maybe I'm just used to being a dickhead, so... People are just dickheads to me in return. I'm not used to being nice, and that really is my own problem. It's my own issue. But with you, it's a bit different. You kind of, I don't know, I feel like, I feel a bit softer when I'm around you, or when I think about you. That might sound really strange, and it might sound really cheesy or corny. But that's how I kind of felt, you know. <laughs> you seem like you've softened enough of it. You don't look as nervous as you did a few minutes ago. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm being honest. I'm not. I'm not trying to mess around with you. I'm not trying to play games with you. I'm not trying to spit game at you, if that's the term. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. I feel like I've just been such a prick to you in the past. Like teasing you in class, calling you names, calling you out when you put your hand up and get the answers right and all that kind of stuff and pushing you when I shouldn't have pushed you. I don't know, you made me feel a certain way, a way which I haven't quite felt before. It's weird, I haven't felt that soft before. Somehow you made me feel that. And yeah, I'm glad I'm getting the chance to speak to you now, tell you about it now. So what, you don't mind me being this close to you now? <laughs> you still have your guard up a bit. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I've been a prick to you in the past. In the past, I've like taken advantage of you and touched you and got you to do things and then not respected you afterwards. Yeah, I just thought about how that must have felt from your perspective. It's just... Yeah, it must make you feel like shit, actually. And I don't want to make you feel like that. Because you're a really sweet person, actually. You're a really lovely person. Like, really, really lovely. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? Saying all this shit, like... I don't know, what have you got me saying? It's all your fault. You're making me soft. I'm like a tough guy and you're making me soft. 
<laughs> I don't know, maybe I like being soft. I like how soft your skin is. Like, let me just touch your cheek. It's so soft. It really is. And your lips as well. Let me just trace a fingertip just across your lower lip, just like that. <laughs> Can I make a confession to you? I knew my sister wasn't here. I just used the excuse to come and see you. Thank you for listening. Unfortunately, I can't carry on the rest of this on YouTube because it's just a bit too spicy. If you want to listen to the rest of the audio, click my Patreon link. It's in the description and in the comments. I'll finish this there, so hopefully I'll see you there. If not, then also fine. I'll see you on the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like. And if you like this video, this audio, then leave a comment as well. That would really help me. I really appreciate you listening. Honestly, I really do. And I really appreciate you enjoying what I make for you. Because I make it just for you. So yes, I'll see you over on Patreon. And if not, I'll see you on the next video or on one of my other videos. Thank you for listening. Mwah.